gathered here to launch the 25th anniversary of our incredible journey of growth and impact. I'm deeply humbled to stand before you, reflecting on the path that has led us to where we are now. The Fair Green story started with a very simple purpose in 1998. I, Girls Blue, wanted to make a little money to support myself through the two-year master's program, MBA, that I started at the um, University of Ghana Business School. Previously, I had worked in an IT firm where I had fallen in love with technology, even though I was, my background was in modern languages. Yao and I met at Masai Computers, then one of the biggest IT firms in the country, where we both worked. His passion for technology was so incredible. So when I started the company, he was my go-to person whenever I needed support. We started doing a few deals together, and before we realized, we had a growing business. And from those humble beginnings, ladies and gentlemen, we embarked on a transformative journey that has shaped us into the dynamic IT solutions provider we are today. Ours has been an organically grown Ghanaian-founded company, providing world-class IT infrastructure solutions to a wide range of large corporate institutions, both in the private and the public sector, and across various verticals, both in Ghana and other parts of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, while we can say our company grew organically over the 25 years, this achievement has come with very hard work and deliberate strategic decisions at every stage. Even back then, when we were just retailing computers and laptops, we knew that the key to our survival in an ever-growing competitive IT market was to adapt and to evolve. The IT industry has a lot of threats which I'm sure they are aware of, but just for those of you who want to know a bit of it. The cyber security is number one, keeping data safe, everybody wants that. Talent shortages in the IT industry is also an issue because we tend to be mediocre in what we do. Data privacy and compliance is another thing that you have to watch. Low ICT investment budgets. Companies don't put too much money, but then they want extremely uh, high demands. They make extremely high demands. I won't say much about your customers because you know how to win your customers and stay with them. And actually, you said about 70% of your customers are still with you, which is a great thing. Finance will be an issue because it's so uncertain, and any company that cannot make profit will fail. But making profit is not easy. Uh, supply chain blockade. You now have longer periods to bring your things or bring them by, which is more expensive. If you delay payment or something like that, you lose the good supplies and, 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 and. But the point is, you must be prudent about your course. And I know gift, that's part of the hair success. <laughs>